In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Bridge and the main point of this software. So Adobe Bridge is mainly used for organizing and kind of categorizing and sorting images. So if you have a lot of different images or pictures that you've taken and you want to kind of organize them in a uh, basically easy and quite easily to navigate manner, this is going to be the thing you need. So you're going to need Adobe Bridge. So let me show you how to actually use this. Now, the first thing I would recommend is that you actually create a folder where you have all your images in. So for example, this is one of my folders. I just call it tutorial photos over here. And currently, of course, when you're gonna be uh, opening up your, um, your Adobe bridge, you're gonna see this over here. So it's gonna say this PC. And then from here, you're gonna have to essentially just find your folder, okay? So you wanna just click through. And then once you find your folder like me, tutorial photos over here, you'll be able to see all your photos in here. But of course, this can get very, very messy. So what you can do and the main reason this software is used for, so Adobe Bridge, is to actually put keywords onto specific images. So let me show you what I mean. Over here, I have some images. So I'm just going to select this first one over here. And then down here at the bottom right, you can see metadata. And then, of course, you can add in metadata if you want to, such as the creator, such as their addresses, etc. So we can add pretty much anything. As you can see, there's a lot of things. But the one that's more interesting is the keywords. So if you go to keywords over here, you can just label this however you want. Now, let's say I'm going to label this with different keywords. So as you can see, you have keywords for events, for people, for places. These are the default ones. What I'm going to do is... On here, I'm just going to rename these. So, of course, you can rename these. I'm going to do people. You can do right-click, rename, and I'm going to do, let's say, Mike, and then Ryan. I'm going to rename it to rename, and I'm going to do, let's say, Chris. There we go. Now, you can, of course, change whatever you want. So, for events or for places, I'm also going to do, instead of birthday, I'm just going to give it, let's say, stock photos. Okay, whatever. For this instance, it's not really important, so let's just do that. Okay. Now, to actually label an image, you want to click on it, and then you can just give it a label or a keyword. So for this, I'm going to give it a stock photo and then Chris over here. Now, as you can see, this photo has now been given these two keywords, and it has assigned keywords, Chris and stock photos. You can do that for multiple photos as well, so you can just select them either by just like this, so dragging over them, or by clicking one and then holding down your control key and clicking the ones you would like, or by clicking one, holding down your shift key, and then the other, and all the images within that range are going to get selected. So let's now select these three and give them, for example, uh, Paris over here under places, and these now have a keyword. And let's go to this woman over here and give her, for example, a graduation or something like that. It doesn't matter. Now, once you've done this, you can then sort it, and you can then find the images with that. Very, very simple. So go down here where it says collections and filter and export. Click on filter. And over here, you have different used keywords. So no keywords is going to filter out the images which have no keywords. So no keywords have been assigned to them over here. When you go to Chris over here, it's going to only show the keywords with Chris. So as you can see over here, this is the only one. And then if I do graduation, only the woman is going to show over here because it's got that keyword. And then if I do Paris, the three selected photos with Paris will show up over here since they have the Paris, um, Paris keyword. You go to stock photos, of course, it's going to pop up only the stock photos image over here. Of course, you can select multiple if you'd like to and then filter it however you would like to over here. Now, this also gives you the option to just filter by aspect ratio, which is also amazing. So you can filter however you would want. And the best part over here is that once you select this, so for example, let's say I only want to export images from Paris, you can go to export over here and then you can create a custom export. And via that custom export, you can then essentially just uh, start with your exporting of your images uh, to wherever you would like and have them sorted without having to just scroll through thousands and thousands of images on your computer. So this is the basic use of Adobe Bridge. Now, of course, it has some other things over here. It has libraries, film strip, output, metadata, and workflow. But for the most cases, you're going to be using what I just showed you over here. So we're going to be using it to actually uh, just organize images because this is the main reason you would want to use it. So that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well.